I just started talking like Obama for some reason. Why would you even say that? We're just burning the house down. What happens when you leave things up to chance? I'm gonna talk about my day for a second. A little bit of a crappy low day. It's such a weird feeling. I've been having difficulty sleeping. Majority of the time, I really don't feel okay. <laughs> Be careful. Going once, going twice. Anybody want to groom Mickey Mouse hat? Stuff like that, it's like sentimental. It's from our honeymoon, but it just looks like a piece of crap. So that's the final box of crap. We went through it again. And look, this corner is all cleaned out. This is actually the first time we've fully seen this corner, Ralphie. Look at how big it is. Look at how big it is. You can dance in it. It's so great. Good morning, everybody. I started off the day extremely lazy. I slept till 11. Yeah, you might want to rephrase the good morning part. Okay, good afternoon. Good evening. Good whenever you're watching this. Oh my gosh, the bottom. <laughs> Thanks, honey. You got that? <laughs> you want me to? <laughs> I had a few things on my list today. It is actually two o'clock, but who cares? As long as you get stuff done, right? I had a few things on my list today, and one of them was to clean up that corner of crap and take it to Goodwill. What else do I have? I have a whole list here. Thrift store, so we're gonna send that to the thrift store. I have to get a bunch of groceries for the week, so I haven't gotten around to that yet. I was also gonna organize the bedroom, because there's still a pile of stuff here, like in front of our dresser, that I still need to go through. So that's also on my list. So yeah. And again, we have a car full of junk. <laughs> we should have just taken a load. Take like when we moved, we should have just taken our car straight to Goodwill. We just said, hey, take whatever you need. I thought we did that before. Oh, you mean straight from storage? Yeah, no, straight from storage right. and or your parents' place. Just Yeah. Well, just I mean, one. I don't know. There's something about having it in your place for a while and just seeing if you're going to use it. Do you know what I mean? Which is another question I have. <laughs> We've had our microwave on top of our refrigerator since we've moved in. I so need to get rid of it. It's been up there for a month and we have not needed to plug it in for anything. Like even when we reheat food, sometimes we just eat it cold. Like we don't reheat food is what I mean. And then if you do really need to reheat it, you can just put it on the stove. And other than that, we drink our coffee immediately. Yeah, we never have a problem finishing coffee when it's hot. New coffee, so. no. So that's just another thing. I was like, let's put, there isn't really space for a microwave other than putting it on the counter, which takes up so much counter space. So I thought, let's stick it up on the uh, on the fridge and see if we ever need to use it. And we haven't really had to. So we might get rid of our microwave. Do any of you live without a microwave? Because it seems like such a common household appliance. So anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Goodbye crap. That was successful. Dropping that stuff off. Yeah, yes. I'm checking off my little to-do list, so that's nice. Hey, there's a fry and um She put ice cream. snuggle on the checklist. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. I did. That's at the end after dinner. After dinner? Maybe. That's like should hours share away. that nasty stuff. There's a fry shack and ice cream store, Ralphie. Do you want to go get some ice cream? Okay. We're a good team. I will... It's the same price for organic, so we might as well get this, right? Smaller, but probably better. I will... Would it actually taste better because celery just tastes like water? You notice it with apples and bananas for sure. Yeah, you do. I'll just leave that there for now. Oh, apples? All the organic stuff is on sale. So we like to come to Walmart to get some produce is okay, but when it comes to getting meat, what are you doing? We like to go to like Zare's, pretty much just Zare's to get meat. Hey Ralphie, we were just mentioning how trustworthy meat, because you can get meat here for pretty cheap at Walmart, but if it's not like, what would you call it? Jello. <laughs> it looks like jello. The chicken thighs, it's surprising the difference, but we like to get the healthy, 
healthier type chicken, like hormone free, and it really does taste a lot better. You are paying a bit more, but it's, it's worth it. Okay, we need a pooper paper now. <laughs> successful grocery haul, would you say? I would say it was very successful. We normally only really get groceries from Zares, but I think we pay more when we do that. So today we ended, actually ended up going to three different places, which might be overkill, but in an attempt to be uh, frugal and save some money. Yeah. I feel like I just started talking like Obama for some reason. I just thought, I looked up flyers. I legitimately, I looked up online, like Walmart, Freshco, Yeah, be careful Zares. waving those things around. And just to see what was on sale, like 20 cents cheaper for zucchini. So then I'll go there. So I went to three different places, which maybe we spend more money in <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, it's not that far. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Everything is up. We have food again. Hallelujah. Feels so good to have food I was food worried for a minute there. <laughs> also, this is blasphemy, but packaged guacamole. Well, normally I wouldn't recommend it. I still put guacamole in uh, probably my top 10 foods that make me happy. Yeah. Mm. And so these good. chips are good too. Way, Way better, better snacks. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Why would you even say that? Because it's not a sponsor. I don't want people to get confused. Because they might. <laughs> 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 Oof. <laughs> we went to check our P.O. box. Got a little uh, short black Americano. Just means less water, folks. And we just felt like we could use some time uh, down by water. This water is therapy. Nature is therapy. Oh jeez, almost fell in. Okay. <clears throat> Baseball, my least favorite sport. Why are you giving it to me? I don't know. Good throw, babe. I felt this. When it comes back, will you get it for me? No. We're checking Snuggle off the list. <laughs> Someone said in yesterday's video, or the day before, I don't remember, that Ralph's eyes are so blue and beautiful. My blue shirt brought out my blue eyes. So we came over here next to the door to check out his beautiful It's not blue true, eyes. the natural lighting, also it's raining, so I had to check it out, you know what I'm saying? We're just burning the house down yeah. for dinner. It seems to be a regular occurrence. My name was Smokey Robinson up in here, man. It definitely was. Dinner is served. Unfortunately, our table is not... Well, it's covered in it's, crap yeah. still. We'll figure it out. I found an Ontario map. And then you said, let's just point at something and we'll go there this weekend. And then we ended up on Clifford and... Mild May. Which, no. I don't think there's anything really there. That's what happens when you leave things up to chance sometimes. Although you so, never know, Clifford could be a beautiful place. I've driven through it. It's not. There's Tobermory. A couple people recommended Tobermory. Yeah. There's also Niagara on the Lake. Ooh, that's way the flip over here. Niagara on the Lake would be nice. I kind of want to stay in a cabin. Somebody posted in the cabins. Woods. We gotta look at them. Arrow, what was it called? Arrowhead Provincial Park? Which is up actually oh. near Algonquin. Oh. Here. Arrowhead. There. Arrowhead yeah. Provincial Park. It's like three hours away though. That's far. Well. How close do you want to be? Two hours. Okay, well, let's get out a compass, like one of these compasses, and draw. A, we don't have draw one of a those. Radius around the map so we know. And then we have to pick something within that. Oh, that's Boom. actually a decent idea. I know. Thank you. Wow. It's top. You know, I've always loved your eyes. They're so beautiful. You know what it is? It's because you don't have your glasses on. That's why people are ew. <laughs> There's a thumbnail. That's point. why people really know this. Your glasses are off. I hate my stupid glasses. Every time I wear them, they're they're so reflective and stupid. You can't see anything. Yeah. Throw them on the ground. I'm gonna talk about my day for a second. It was pretty productive. The only thing I didn't get done, like I got this corner cleaned out, which was nice. Well, with most of Ralphie's help. The only thing I didn't get done was the crap in the bedroom. Snuggles. 
And Snuggles I was well. last on the list, yo. You gotta check that off my list. Damn. You don't have to talk about it. I mean, it. in terms of getting stuff done, I felt like I had a decent yeah. day. Ralph's like, you're not really telling the truth. When I turn the camera off, just there for a quick second. Because I, I feel like I had a decent day getting stuff done. Um, but kind of just had a, a little bit of a crappy low day. It's still hard sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. I was saying to Ralph too, like, we know a lot of people that are expecting, and it's such a weird feeling to, I don't know how to word this. It's not that I'm not happy for people, it's just hard to be as excited for them. Do you know what I mean? I think that makes sense. It's tough sometimes too seeing like, pregnant women or like adorable little kids. Annoying kids, it's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's hard to talk about it sometimes, but the reality is it's just, mm -hmm. yesterday we didn't put up a vlog and it was just a tough day. And I found that I was up late last night because I've been having difficulty sleeping. So I just kind of sat out here for a little bit and I was just thinking of like my f feelings, like how I'm feeling and stuff. And I, saying to Ralph, like I think that I've been putting subconsciously doing it. I feel like I've just been trying to like push the kind of what I went through, pushing it aside and just not wanting to think about it as a way of healing. And Ralph was saying like, maybe I'm doing it as a way of protecting myself too. Does that make sense? I don't know. It seems to be like how you push off dealing with pain in the moment. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I don't mean you as in just you, but like everybody, people in general, when you go through a traumatic experience, you sort of mm -hmm. A lot of people sort of tend to like suppress it and push it back right. so they don't have to deal with it and process it and feel it. I feel like I kind of have been doing that though, just to like go to work every day and like, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm having a good day. But like majority of the time I really don't feel okay, you know, and it's, it's just been hard. So I'm trying not to do that, like, cause I don't want to just forget, you know, I don't think I can forget but I think that was my first kind of thought, was to push those things aside. I'm sorry, this is getting emotional or... It's just and the truth. Yeah, and sometimes it's just hard to, it's just hard to film. Like, I just don't feel like myself. So anyway, we're, we're really looking forward to going away this weekend. I think that'll be nice. It'll be so nice. No matter what we do, we'll have yeah. fun. We always do. Yeah. Should we say goodbye then, Ralphie Poo? Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for commenting and subscribing and mm -hmm. liking. And we really do value this, the YouTube community. We have a lot of good friends on the other side of the camera. Yeah. And it's, it's it feels weird when we've chosen to put, point it at our faces, sometimes narcissistic or whatever. But we appreciate you guys. We really do. So thanks for watching and we'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You're happy. You ran into it earlier, it was funny. Okay, let me back.